Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make these relaxing CBD Easter cupcakes. They're super simple and they're really delicious. And the best part is that you get all of the relaxing effects of CBD while you're enjoying chocolate and cupcakes. Um, so this is the most important ingredient. It's caliper CBD. It comes in these pre-measured 20 milligram packets. Um, I like cooking and baking with them for three reasons. The first one is that I know exactly how much CBD I'm adding. So there's 20 milligrams in each packet and I can be really, really specific and really accurate about how much is making it into my brownies or my cupcakes. Um, I'm like a CBD oil where I'm kind of using a dropper and there's a little bit of guesswork in how much I'm adding. Uh, the second reason is that the powder really cleanly mixes into whatever I'm baking. So whether that's brownie batter or cupcake batter, um, I can just add in this powder and it's going to mix evenly and disperse evenly throughout that baked good. So one person isn't going to be like, wait a minute, I didn't get any CBD. Everybody is gonna get the same amount of CBD. Um, and the third and most important reason why I like using Caliber is that it's virtually tasteless. So you can mix it into any food or beverage. So like water, coffee, cupcakes, <laughs> cookies, brownies, you really name it. And it's gonna mix in and dissolve cleanly and it's not gonna change the taste of whatever I'm adding it to, which makes it perfect for baking and a fantastic addition to these cupcakes. So stay tuned. I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step how to create these bad boys so that you have something that's delicious and really fun to celebrate Easter. We're gonna add in our almonds to the food processor. Um, we already chopped them up a little bit, but we wanna make sure that they're really finely ground so that you're not crunching all over the place when you eat these cupcakes. So we just chopped up all of our almonds and now we're gonna add them to the rest of our dry ingredients. So I'm gonna pop in these almonds. And next I'm gonna add in my flour. And then I'm gonna add in all of my spices along with some baking powder and baking soda so that these babies rise. So this is what we're looking like right now. And then the last piece of this, debatably the most important, is adding in my caliper CBD packets. So what I'm gonna do is just cut them open really fast. Um, Bradley, you actually, oh, there's the scissors. Okay, so what's really nice about these is because it's a powder, I can add them to my dry ingredients really easily. And each powder packet has exactly 20 milligrams of CBD in it. I know that I'm making 12 cupcakes. So I'm gonna add in six of these powder packets so that each one of these cupcakes has 10 milligrams of CBD in it. Um, like I said, what's really awesome about them coming pre-measured is I don't have to like think about how many droppers of my CBD oil go in them. And it also is nice because the powder really evenly disperses with the dry ingredients. So it mixes really nicely and really cleanly. So now that all of our dry ingredients are in the bowl, we're just gonna mix, mix, mix. So next, I chopped up one and a half cups of carrots. Um, I personally like using the food processor because it cuts my time in half, quite literally. Um, so I just made these into huge chunks, and now I'm gonna pop them in, just like that, and pulse these guys until they're a little smaller. Boom, so I've got all my carrots in there. Now I'm gonna go and add my eggs. So I've cracked three of these eggs, and I'm just gonna pop them in there and stir that around really fast. And in goes our vegetable oil. All right, so, so we've got everything mixed up. And the last but most important ingredient is the vanilla extract. So I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of that. We're gonna go and mix in our flour. So we're doing it pretty slowly so that it doesn't get too chunky. And if you guys remember, that flour also has our CBD in it. So we wanna make sure that we mix it really, really well so that everything mixes together and that CBD is evenly dispersed in your cupcake mix. We just finished mixing our wet mixture. So our cupcake batter is ready to go, which is super exciting. And now we just have to fill the cupcakes to put them in the oven. So I filled the cupcakes, they're pretty equal. Not the cleanest or the prettiest, but 
They certainly are tasty because I snuck a little taste of the batter. So now I'm gonna put them in my oven, which is preheated to 350 degrees. And I'm gonna let these bad boys bake for a little while. Here we go. They're all done. They're looking nice and golden. They got some beautiful loft to them. They smell incredible. And I'm going to put them in a container and leave them overnight and then frost them tomorrow morning. We finished baking our cupcakes and now I'm gonna go and work on the frosting. I've let my cream cheese sit out until it's room temperature and now I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my bowl. I've done the same with my butter. So that's been sitting out at room temperature. You can see when I push it, it's a little bit easy to mark up. So I'm gonna add that in there as well. Just pop it in. And then I'm going to start adding my powdered sugar. And so like, like I was saying, I let all these things sit at room temperature for a while so that it's a little bit easier to mix them. Um, I don't have a stand mixer. So I have to do this all by hand. So when my cream cheese and my butter is really hard, my job becomes even harder. Oh my God, okay, so I mixed in the first wave of powdered sugar. Um, it was not easy. Maybe I should start a GoFundMe for a stand mixer. All right, all right so I finished adding on all of the powdered sugar. Now I'm gonna add in my lemon. Uh, you know what? It's kind of impossible to squeeze a lemon and not get seeds into what you're baking. So I'm just going to live and let live and pick them out after I'm done. So that's my other half. Look how pretty it is. In it goes. Okay, okay, update. I think I got all of the lemon seeds out of there, but I'm not sure. So somebody might get a little surprise. Now I'm going to add it in my quarter of a teaspoon of almond extract. Well, bam. Wow, okay, so this smells delicious and it looks amazing. Now, I'm gonna work on the topping stuff. I wanted to take a special second to talk about this chocolate bar. So this is my absolute favorite chocolate bar. Um, I chose dark chocolate, but it comes from Tony's. Um, they make slave-free chocolate, so it's really ethical and it's super tasty. So here's what it, what it looks like when you unwrap it. It has this whole story about, you know, their chocolate and where it comes from, and it comes in this beautiful foil wrapping. I think this is the coolest part. So it comes in these crazy little pieces, and it's supposed to represent the inequality of the chocolate industry. Now I'm using my peeler to just shave my chocolate. I'm picking it up on the side, and then I'm just kind of running the peeler down the side of it. And this is what I'm gonna use to create the illusion of a bird's nest on top of my cupcakes. So we finished prepping our frosting, and putting together all of our supplies to decorate the cupcakes. So now we're gonna put them all together. I'm gonna start by just scooping out some frosting with a butter knife and putting it on top of the cupcake. Um, I personally think it's a little bit easier to start in the middle and really lather it on and then work on spreading it out to the edges of the cupcake. It makes it look a little cleaner too. So you can see I'm just twisting it around and really spreading out that frosting. Um, for all of you that don't have piping tips at home, I personally do not. Um, so this is kind of my secret hack to making it look the best I can <laughs> with the supplies I have. Um, next, I'm gonna take some of the shaved chocolate that we made and I'm just gonna sprinkle it around to make a little circle, like a little donut hole almost. Um, and then this is what we're gonna use as the base for our bird's nest. It's okay if it's a little messy. This isn't Martha Stewart. Um, and then I'm gonna take like three of my eggs. I like to choose different colors so that there's a little bit of diversity. And then I'm just gonna pop them on the top of the cupcake. And once you've done that, you have yourself a beautiful Easter CBD cupcake. All right, bottoms up. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, those are really good. And the best part is they have 10 milligrams of CBD in them and I can't taste it at all because I used caliper. It's great, it mixes in flavorlessly, it mixes in entirely, it just lost an egg on the floor, oops. Um, but really super easy to bake with and this recipe, 10 out of 10, would make again.
Happy Easter.